on The After Party. New episodes are available Fridays on Apple TV+. Plus. Sam, congratulations on the show. It's an absolute smash. Thank you. It's such a brilliant premise for a series. For anyone who hasn't caught it, what's it about and who do you play? So, uh, The After Party is a high school murder mystery whodunit where each person is recalling the, uh, the events of a night where a pop star, Xavier, played by Dave Franco, uh, is killed and everybody is being questioned by the police to recount the night and everybody's re re recounting is in a different genre of film. So mine is told through a, 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 a romantic comedy. Uh, there's, there's an action movie, a musical, uh, an animated... Uh, so, like, everybody... It's eight episodes, and each episode is in a different genre. It's so good. It's so smart. Did you have fun working on this? Because it's an amazing cast, incredible group of people, but you spent most of your days on the set here with your pants around your ankles and a ski... Looks like beer pong. ..balanced on your... <laughs> on your body, like, is this, <laughs> is it just balancing on you naturally? Yeah, like, this, this whole show was like my revenant, because I, right. I had to, they put me through the paces, like that and that, there. So it is a ski and it's got all these cups balanced on it and it's balanced on my chest and my stomach uh, and, and it has to be in a precarious position because like when I wake up, I'm supposed to like wake up and, and the water's supposed to pour in my face, it's like uh, the beer. Uh, and so I would have to like be set up Boom, and then on a show, when you when, it, when when you set things before you start filming, it's like another two minutes before they actually yeah, do yeah, anything. Yeah. So I'm here, like breathing very small, and just like trying not to move. And they're like, "All right, and all right, let's make sure these lights are good." And yeah. so I'm like, "No, let's just shoot it, and then if it works, it works." So like that. So it was a whole bunch of that. I had my face painted on every day with marker. Uh, at one point, uh, I get kicked into a pool of water, but I get pants first, so I have uh, uh, jeans around my ankles, and I'm holding a mix CD and my glasses so they don't fall. So I'm in the water, and then, like, well, that's really hard to swim like that. Yes. So I'm, like, just struggling to survive and get up. Wow. Until I get up on top, and uh, I survived. So you're hopeful of a series, too, <laughs> oh, what you're saying? Please. Yes. <laughs> now, the Sam's show is, is about a, an, a, a school reunion. Would you have any interest in going back to a school reunion, Hayley? Is this something you do? I have in oh. my in my nightmares. <laughs> oh, really? It would be bad. Yeah. Because oh. you grew up in Ohio, right? Yeah. What were you like when you were at school when you were younger? Well, let's just say, don't let the dress fool you, because uh, because I yeah I was I was quite a tomboy. I was um, I lived with my single father who um, who liked to hunt and to fish, and so he would coerce me into going. And some of you might not like to hear this, but um, for survival purposes, hmm. I could skin a squirrel Stop. or, uh, you know, a rabbit. I could gut a fish. No. I could rip your heart out. Well, that took a... That, elevated. Sorry, elevated. That, uh, that took a real leap. Survival, no, survival no, that purposes. took a real <laughs> jump. That was survival. like, I can skin... A, in my head, I was like, oh, we're fine. We can eat the but, animals. And you're yeah. like, and then I'll kill you. <laughs> and... Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but I got smart. I, um, w my dad would take me on fishing trips, and he would score all of these fish and put them in the cooler, and then when he wasn't looking, I would take them out of the cooler and then release them back into the lake. Oh. And I am very grateful to say that he stopped bringing me on his fishing and I chalk this up as a win. <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for our guests this evening? I do. Tonight's uh, question goes to you. Uh, our guests this evening. Uh, both of you are, are technically from the Midwest, and uh, as, as people who have grown up there, you're kind of familiar with a post-industrial uh, existence. Uh, do you think that if you were pre-industrial, uh, you would feel as though post-industrial were unnecessary, given that you didn't know that it would have an eventual demise? <laughs> Well, I moved to the countryside and became a Victorian. Mm -hmm. um, so. mm -hmm. uh, I would say there's a, a certain omniscience that comes with living in the Midwest. And uh, so, so, so I feel that post-industrial and, and pre-industrial are all within the same time plane. Mm. So I believe the feeling would be one of longing and expectation uh, until it occurred. What he said. <laughs> I have never heard of a more 
correct uh, answer. <laughs> it's absolutely correct. Please yes. thank the wonderful Hayley Bennett. Sam Richardson, everybody. Sam Morrill is here when we come back.